Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do kind of a random, more talkative video today um, because a long time, well not a long time ago, a few months ago I mentioned that I wanted to start a wedding series on my channel because I got engaged. And the first video I put up was all about our engagement and the ring and just how we got together and things like that. And I seriously was pondering making this video because it's so random. But the first video of this series I wanted to do kind of like my expectations for the wedding and I think it would just be fun to have like personally because then towards the end of you know when we get married and after that I can look back on you know just the whole wedding process and what I expected and what actually happened so I wanted to give you guys kind of like a backstory before I go into this series talking about you know all of the things that I wanted to pick out as far as decor and just all the videos I have planned for the series so when we got engaged in April I had kind of assumed that we were going to have a mid-sized wedding I didn't have a big family and Doug kind of has a little bit of a bigger family than I do but nothing extreme to where it was hundreds of people and it was gonna cost a bunch of money we had both planned on paying for the entire wedding ourselves right from the beginning and we knew that it was gonna cost a lot of money and we were going to have to save for it so long story short we had talked to a lot of the people in our life about coming to the wedding because we just assumed that that's how it is you have to invite your entire family and you have to invite people you don't really talk to in your extended family just because that's a traditional way and we never really like stopped to think about what we want we kind of just more thought about what was right and what people expected from us and honestly we are pretty young I'm 23 he's 24 none of my friends had ever gotten married um, the only person that I knew in my life that I had been a part of wedding wise was my sister and she's 10 years older than me so the wedding I went to was when I was 17 I think so yeah I never really had been involved in the planning process and we were both so new to it that we didn't really know the decisions we were actually making so a few weeks ago I had received a sample well it wasn't a sample wedding budget it was an actual girl's wedding budget that I know but we I wasn't really close to her so she just sent it to me just to show me you know what worked for her because I was already planning on having an 80 to 100 person wedding and so did she she had hers last year so Doug and I looked at the budget it, and it was insane okay so I looked at this budget and first off she was like an extreme planner so she had everything in Excel tabs listing all of the finances so how much she spent on florals how much she spent on food and presents and everything and basically her 80 person wedding totaled to be around $22,000 and that was not even with the honeymoon and that was just a regular wedding she didn't have anything extreme she didn't have you know steak she had a pasta bar she didn't have a crazy cake it was like a really small simple white cake and she did have to pay for the venue obviously so that was like you know around $9,000 that was most of the budget but after looking at that Doug and I was like whoa it was such an awakening because no one had really talked about cost and what was involved with a wedding before so we kind of took that in and we sat on that for a few days we weren't really talking about it openly just because we had already talked to a lot of people about you know them coming to our wedding and how fun it was gonna be and everything but both of us I think were really thinking you know after we saw that budget that this is gonna cost a lot of money and while we can save for it and we can pay for it you know we were both kind of thinking to ourselves is that what we really want even though it's kind of too late to change our minds so I was obviously the one to bring it up because he didn't want to crush my dreams with you know speaking his mind because he's super nice so I brought it up one day I was like so what do you think about that budget that we saw and then we started talking about how you know where our priorities lie and kind of just what we wanted out of a wedding I had never been the type of girl to dream of a big wedding um, I even though I have this YouTube channel and I have my blog I really don't like being the center of attention it makes me feel uncomfortable and Doug is the exact same way so we kind of came to the conclusion that we either wanted to elope with our immediate family I know it's super extreme or we wanted to have a really really intimate small wedding so Doug kind of nicks the whole eloping thing because if you guys watch my vlog channel you'll know I talked all about it and how I was such an advocate for it. 
Um, so he mixed that because he said he didn't want that, which he never has an opinion on anything. So it's kind of funny that he didn't want to elope. Um, but yeah, so we're not doing that. So right now we've come to the conclusion that we would rather spend all of that, not all of that money, but most of that money, um, making memorable experiences with each other. Since I think that's what a marriage is all about. It's, you know, kind of uniting two people and getting married. So we would rather spend most of our money traveling and creating experiences than kind of catering to a bunch of people that we hardly talk to. So that doesn't mean that we don't care about our extended family or even some of our friends and family. That just means that, you know, if we want to talk to people and share in memories, then that would happen naturally and we don't really need our wedding to be an excuse to connect with people. Um, so yeah, we come to that conclusion and I wanted to give you guys an update because I still do really want to, you know, start this wedding series and have a thing on my channel and update you guys every month. Um, I think I have eight months till we get married. So we kept the same wedding date and everything, but we did change venues. His mom actually works at a winery and we were going to get the venue for free, but the winery was absolutely huge. I mean, it was huge in comparison to the kind of wedding that we're planning on having now. So we kind of felt uncomfortable having such a large and grandiose venue for a tiny intimate wedding so yeah we changed that which was a really hard choice because we did get that venue for free and that's kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be honest but I seriously do not regret my decision because it would be kind of weird to have such a huge venue with such a little amount of people so we actually decided to have it in Doug's grandma's backyard which is located in a redwood forest in northern California so up there and I'm honestly could not be more happy with my decision and I realized now that you can't really make big life decisions based on other people's expectations of you and as I'm getting older I'm realizing that more and more you kind of just have to make these big decisions and plan on your future being changed because of them and just really making the decision because it's right for you not because it's right for anyone else and it was such a hard decision for Doug and I to make because you know we have a lot of friends and family that expect to come already and while I love those people it honestly isn't worth it to me to spend 20,000 plus because it'd probably be more for my wedding knowing my taste um, and kind of pleasing all those people and having a good time with them it just it's not worth it to both of us and if we we wanted to make memories then we would do it with those people at another time so yeah I kind of just wanted to update you guys so now that the wedding is in a completely different place and we're only having our immediate family in both of our wedding parties um, I've completely changed my perception on what I want for the wedding so I'm gonna show you a few inspirational pictures that I have in my mind for the wedding so I still do want my bridesmaids to dress up because I think that, you know, having that moment with your bridesmaids is so important because even if you're having a small wedding, I don't think you should take that away because, you know, if certain people have been in your life for years and you want them to celebrate with you. Since we're getting married in the forest, there's already going to be a lot of greenery. So I didn't want to distract from the nature aspect of the scenery. So my bridesmaids are going to be wearing a cream color and I thought it would be really cute for them to be a little bit more ethereal looking and bohemian inspired. So I thought it would be cool if they wore a really dark plum lipstick and if they had more of a messy updo kind of hair with a bunch of braids and, and for their bouquets I wanted it to be more earth inspired so a lot more greenery in there and less of a more traditional rounded style. I kind of just want to do the complete opposite to what a lot of other people do since I'm having such a small wedding now. Um, and then for the cake I'm actually really interested in doing a naked cake which if you guys don't know what that is I'll put a picture here because it is kind of it sounds strange but I'm not sure how those taste so if you guys have ever tasted one of those please let me know because I think that they look so cool and I honestly don't like fondant anyways so I thought that would be a cool alternative alternative but yeah that's basically all I really have envisioned for my wedding now but I did want to update you guys just in case you're interested in seeing my wedding journey and kind of the decision behind why I'm having such a small wedding in the first place so if you guys are getting married or if you like these wedding kind of series videos then please give this one a thumbs up for me and I'll go ahead and link my Pinterest board to my wedding and all of the ideas I have behind it below as well as my blog and social media platforms so thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next time bye guys used high-end mascara I would be it would just be excessive and I would be spending so much money because I like my mascara as you can tell I have um, I'll try and do a close-up shot for you guys but I like really long